you know what would be fun? If I got drunk and yelled things about hockey. <laughs> Just f***ing love sports. That looks provocative. <laughs> So I made a really important list of the things I'd like to talk to you about. It's really formal, I know. In case you can't see, it's Yager, the Olympics, and games. <laughs> Super specific, I know. I'm gonna take another shot of tequila. Oh, that's, that's big, shit. Cheers. That was a very, very large shot. Holy shit, Minnesota. <laughs> We're gonna talk hockey, I swear. Alright, let me make a drink. Alright, let's talk hockey. Yamir Yager, the greatest travesty of the offseason. The thing that blows my mind is that teams weren't trying to negotiate with him. Like, he played all 82 games. I can barely walk up the steps without getting out of breath. He's f in his mid 40s and he can play 82 NHL games? Like, no team was calling him? Come on, people. The Flames were interested in him. Why are you turning off already? Like, that's some bullshit. You're supposed to go longer than that. That bottom bit was literally just tequila. <laughs> and also, I'm rooting for Western Canada this season. Like, I'd really love to see the Oilers or the Flames make a good run for the playoffs. It'd be really great to see Yagra out there. Also, priorities here, it'd be really great to add another traveling Yager. The worst case is that Yager says, eh, go f yourself NHL, I'm gonna go play in the Olympics and make it interesting. <laughs> I just segued into my next point. I think we deserve points for that. <laughs> Alright, if you don't know my stance on this, I really strongly disagree with the NHL not sending their players. Getting a gold medal for your country, nothing trumps that. Like, this is like pride in country. And this is why it makes me mad that Don Cherry is like anti this and said like, I'm glad we're not going. Like for somebody that spouts xenophobic nationalist crap on his Twitter pretty consistently, I'm surprised he doesn't want his players to go to the Olympics and win gold for Canada. Like that's some bullshit, Don. But this seriously turns off like, how like how long does that last? It can't be more than ten seconds. Oh, all right, the tequila is really hitting me. Woo! So one of the thi one of the things that Don Cherry said was just like he goes, you know, who wants to go to North Korea or South Korea or wherever the hell it is? Well, Wan Pyeongchang is in South Korea. Asshole. Like, learn some geography. This is the shit that pisses me off about Don Cherry. The world does not revolve around Canada. It's so ignorant that it just, like, it makes me not value your opinion on what you're about to say. Just don't be a jerk about that. Like, don't say, oh, whatever the hell it is. Like, North Korea and South Korea are pretty different places. So, yeah, lots of people do want to go to South Korea. I want to go to South Korea. Do you like Korean barbecue? Because I do. It's delicious. Imagine eating Korean barbecue. Like that's the joy of the Olympics. Like that's what's so great about it is this cultural exchange. But again, in Don Cherry's world, nothing besides Canada matters. Poutine is pretty great, but it's no Korean barbecue. Another funny thing that he had to say about this. <clears throat> so he said that players who are saying this, they're just full of hot air. Ironic that Don Cherry would say that. He'd be the expert on knowing when things are full of hot air. It's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black there, Don. So much tequila. If somebody gets hurt while doing it, because this was a complaint that Don Cherry had, like what if Carey Price gets hurt? Montreal Canadian fans will be super upset. It's like, okay, one, you can get hurt literally walking down the street. These things happen. So when you're playing hockey, you can get hurt at any time. And if you get hurt playing for Team Canada at the freaking Olympics, that's worth it. This is it, like, this isn't the World Cup of Hockey where if players got hurt, people were gonna be upset because it was meaningless. This is the Olympics. It is kind of worth it if you get hurt at that point, but also you can get hurt in a preseason game. You can get hurt at any point in the season. It happened for the Canadians. It happened with Carey Price. It sucks, but
but it's part of the game and you need to plan the hell around it. You need to move on and your team maybe shouldn't depend on one player, okay? Maybe if your team didn't depend on Gary Price, Subban would still be in Montreal. That's not true, we all know that's not true, but. <laughs> so another point that Don Cherry likes to bring up, who the hell is gonna sit up at 3 a.m. and watch a game? Because that the games are gonna be on at weird times. It's Pyeongchang, one, the world doesn't revolve around Canada. So it's not gonna be 3 a.m. in places like China, where the NHL is making a push for the sport to grow. But also, probably people like me, people who wanna watch the United States player, or Canada player, they wanna watch a really good story that's unfolding. <sighs> Don Cherry, Don Cherry. It's the pinnacle of sport, you know? It's a shame they're not gonna be there. Two shots might have been too much. Uh, but again, the Olympics to me are the pinnacle of sport. They're the peak of sport. They're the, they're the top athletes competing, and that's what it should be. And don't tell me that the World Cup of Hockey is a replacement, because it's not. I loved Team North America. In fact, I have a hoodie from them. Give me a second, I'm gonna get it, because I love Team North America. All right, my battery died. The tequila has kicked in, and I should probably wrap it up here. What I was saying, the NHL and the Olympics, that is upsetting to me. I am worried about the growth of the sport and the sport as a whole, watching other sports like soccer grow immensely. And I wanna see the NHL do really well. But I only got from Yager and the Olympics and we'll be back tomorrow, not tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, I had too much tequila live. Whew. I think I'm gonna save that because I wanna do this again. I will be back next week to talk about games and what other crazy shit happens. So ladies and gents, this was the first episode of Drunk Hockey. I hope that you are excited for the season that's coming. And cheers to hockey, bitches. Hey. Wait, hold on. Hey! <laughs> you know what's a shame is that like non-hockey fans don't know the glory. Like that's gonna look weird with me. Like, like here's my boobs. No, I'm talking about Team North America. Like, like people outside of the hockey world don't understand the greatness of Team North America.